conversion through equations. Um, basically, it takes you step by step through how to identify what type of reaction it is, how to balance a reaction, how to write an equation, how to balance it, how to predict the products if you only know the reactants. So on the first one, we have um, synthesis. That's taking two things and making it one. It doesn't have to be elements, but just two things making it one or three things and making it one. Decomposition, falling apart. Combustion, we always end up with carbon dioxide and water most of the time. Sometimes we end up with nitrous oxide or sulfur oxides. Single displacement, I have a compound plus an element, gives me a new compound, a new element. Double displacement, compound plus a compound, new compound, new compound. Or acid-based reaction, this is a double displacement that's specialized. That on the product side, I'll end up with water because I have an acid and a base going together. So as we look through this, this first one, we have um, a compound, a compound, giving me a compound and a compound. So this would be what type? This was actually be double displacement. It's not working for me. Let me grab my ink tools. See if I can get something going here. Okay, double displacement. It wanted to move. <laughs> okay, let's try this one more time. Yeah, it didn't want to stay there. So it is double displacement. Let's try that again. It's going to even move. Now it's letting me stay. Okay. The next one down we've got, yeah, it's not being very funny. Okay, we've got an acid, we've got a base, and we end up with water. So this one right here is acid base is really not loving me. Okay, so this one is an acid base. Let's see if it does it over there. Yep. This does not love me. Just write it an inch above where you need to go. Yeah, we're going to write it up an inch above. Acid base. And now it won't move. Really? Okay. This is an acid base. Maybe it's just because I'm in the table. Okay, I'm going to write outside the table. This is a double displacement. Okay, what is this next one down here? Looking at yours. It is a combustion. And this one is a single and a couple, a new couple, new single. So this would be single displacement. This is something falling apart. Decomposition. This is two things coming together. Synthesis. And two things making two new things. Good. And we got a compound, a single, compound, a single. Single displacement. We got something making carbon dioxide and water. Combustion. We got a single and iron making one thing. Synthesis. We've got something plus oxygen yields something plus chlorine. Single displacement. You got something, a compound, a compound, new compound, new compound, double displacement. We got something falling apart, decomposition. We got something falling apart, decomposition. Okay, so over here we add in section two, we add one more thing. Besides saying, okay, what type is it, we're also going to start balancing it. So I am going to try and enlarge this. I'm moving this over. Let's see how well this works. Went the wrong way. Okay, wrong way. Doing really well. Okay, let's try this. So, what I like to do is I like to take a scratch piece of paper and put it up against a a uh, um, thing that I'm trying to balance, and then I write all the elements leaving. Oh, it's not going to let me. <laughs> all the elements except leaving. I'm going to just do it over here. Hydrogen and oxygen to very last when you balance. So I always think ho ho ho. I'm leaving H and O to very last. Oxygen being the very last thing I balance. I put them right underneath the arrow, but it's not letting me put it right underneath the arrow. So I'm putting it right here. You know what? I am going to switch to 
the other view. Let me stop this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take, and I'm going to grab me a piece of scratch paper, and I'm going to take that scratch paper and just put it right under here so you can sort of see what I would do. So underneath this arrow, I would put C, H, and O. Okay, now you look on the left and you have six carbons. On the right, you only have one. I stop every time there's not equal. Okay, I put a six here, and I always do this with pencil because you're going to be erasing and, and changing. So now I have six. On my hydrogens, I have six on the left. I only have two on the right. So that means I'm going to have to put a three in front so I can get six. Everybody okay so far? Okay, then I look at my oxygens. My oxygens, I have two on this side. On this side, I have three plus six times two, which is 12, giving me... 15. So we have to use just a little trick, just for a second. If for a second I times this 2 by 15 halves, I'll get 15, right? Are we okay with that? So if I put 15 halves here, then I've got a balanced equation, but I can't have, I can't have a fraction. So how do we get rid of fractions? Well, we times everything through by 2, right? So if I go 2, and then this would be 15, and this would be 6, and this would be 12. Everybody okay? So I've got this balanced. What type of reaction is this? Kaboom, right? Combustion. Combustion. Okay, so now I'm going to get a bigger eraser and erase this. I'm going to move my sheet, got to get my finger now back, down to the next one. So on the next one, again, I would move my scratch piece of paper around, and I actually fold down the top and keep moving and keep using over and over again until, and then I fold it the other way, <laughs> so I nearly use it up. Again, leaving oxygen till very last, hydrogen till second to last, and I just keep going like this, okay? So left I have one sodium, right I have 2, so I'm going to come back here and put a 2. Iodine, I have 2 on the left, oh, I have 4 on the right, that means I've got to come back here, get rid of that 2, and put a 4. When I do that, it changes that and that, right? Okay, lead I have 1, lead I have 1, sulfur I have 2, sulfur I have one. Oh, I know why I didn't go back and fix my sodium. Because now I have four on that side. I need four on this side. When I do that, now I've got two sulfurs. Oxygens, four times uh, two is eight. Two times four is eight, and we're done. Okay? Right. So what type is this one? This is a double displacement. Okay, the next one, going down, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. So in this one, we have one nitrogen, one nitrogen. We have three hydrogens, two hydrogens. So common factor here is six. So if I times this one by 2, I change this to 6, but change that to 2. And I times this one by 3, I change this to 6. I've got to go back and fix my nitrogen, make that 2. Now I go through my oxygen. I have 2 on the left. I have 2 plus 3 on the right. I have 5 on this side. The only way I'm going to get 5 is timesing this by 5 halves but I can't leave it that way. So now I go through and times everything by 2. So this becomes 4. That becomes 5. That becomes 4. And that becomes 6. Okay? This is what type? 
sort of a hard one. This one actually is also combustion. Because we end up with water, we have something plus oxygen yielding an oxide and water. Okay, this one is what type? Falling apart, so it's decomposition. So then we're going to go F, E, H, and O. So F, E, we have one, we have two, so we're going to put two. And then H, we have two times three is six, and we have two. So we're going to put three here to make six. Oxygen, we have three times two is six, and we have three and three is six. We're done. How are we doing? Getting this? Do a few more, or are you okay? Move on. Got it? Need more? Okay. Let's go ahead and go on to the next section then. Section three. On section three, we now have been given... We've been given the actual word equation, and we just have to write it and balance it. So this takes into your last chapter, where you actually had to write the compounds. And this is going to go on through the rest of the, of the year. So if you had a hard time writing compounds, you want to make sure you come in and get some help. Okay? So silver 1, 1 referring to silver. Silver, it doesn't have to have the 1 there, um, because it's always plus 1. So nitrate is NO3 with a minus 1, and silver is Ag with a plus 1. So we're going to just smash those together. Hydrogen and sulfur is a minus 2 because it's two away from being a noble gas. So it's going to be H2S, that's rotten egg gas. Gives is my arrow. Silver 1. So Ag plus with sulfide this time. This is silver um, rust or oxide plus nitric acid. To be an acid, it has to have a hydrogen. So and nitrate came from nitrate. Nitrate is NO3. It's a minus. Hydrogen's a plus. So HNO3. Then we've got to look to both sides. I can see right away my silvers are not balanced. So I'm going to fix that by putting a 2 here. By doing that, I now have two nitrogens, so I'm going to have to put a 2 in front of this. Now my nitrogens are balanced. My sulfurs are 1 and 1. I go to my hydrogens now. I have two hydrogens on the left, two hydrogens on the right. I go to my oxygens. 2 times 3 oxygens is 6 on the left. 2 times 3 oxygens is 6 on the right. Okay. Okay. So what type of reaction is this? Compound, compound, new compound, new compound. Double displacement. Okay, let's look at the next one. 10 is SN plus copper. That Roman numeral tells me the charge. Sulfate was SO4 with a minus 2 charge. So if copper has a plus 2 and sulfate has a minus 2, I just smash them together. Gives is my arrow. 10 it gave me the Roman numeral 2, and I already know sulfate's a minus 2, so I'm just going to plug it in. Plus copper got kicked out. Okay, so I have an element plus a compound, yields a new, ele new element kicked out plus a new compound. Since they both were plus 2 and the sulfate was minus 2, they're basically balanced already. So this type right here is what kind? Single displacement. Good. Okay. Next one, we have calcium, Ca, plus 
iodine. Now, this is where this comes in. Don't forget Braun-Hifkel, the diatomics. So bromine, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, iodine, fluorine, and chlorine all are hanging around in pairs. Iodine is one of those, so I put I2, not just I. And then that gives calcium, which has a plus 2, iodine, which has a minus 1. So I need 1 calcium to 2 iodines. And it just so happens that balances out on this one. What type of reaction is this? Synthesis. They're going together and making a couple. Okay, next one we have propane, C3H8. It gave it to me already. Plus oxygen, that's another one of our Braun-Hifkels, gives carbon dioxide and water. What type is this? Combustion. Okay, now we're going to go through and balance it. So we have three carbons. We need three carbons. So we have three there. We have eight on the left, hydrogen. We need eight hydrogens on the left. Now we do the oxygens. On the left we have two. On the right we have three times two, which is six, plus four is ten. I can get ten by putting a five there, so I don't have to use the little trick. Okay, next one. Sodium carbonate. Sodium is Na, and it has a plus one. Carbonate is CO3, and it has a two minus. So I need two sodiums to go with one carbonate. Plus sulfuric acid. An acid comes with an H, and H is a positive. It came from eight, so sulfate was SO4. And they already gave you the formula there, so you have to figure it out. Is or gives sodium sulfate, so Na2SO4, plus carbon dioxide, plus water. Now, this right here actually came from H2CO3, which is carbonic acid, which quickly decomposes into carbon dioxide and water. If we look side to side, it is balanced. What type of reaction? There's actually two going on here. So we had a compound, a compound, gave me a compound and a new compound. It's a double displacement, then it, but it also then went under decomposition. Okay, let's do this one. Lithium oxide. So lithium's plus one, oxygen's minus two. So I need two lithiums to go with an oxygen. Plus water, H2O, gives lithium. And hydroxide is OH with a minus one. So lithium was a plus one, LiOH. Now if I look at this, I can see right away that it is not balanced. I have two lithiums and only one on the right, so I'm going to put a two here, and then it balances out. What type is this? Synthesis. How are we feeling on this one? Do you want to do more of this, or you want to try the next type? Want to do the next one? Yes, no, you feel okay? Okay, section four. Get a new page up here, section four. Okay, on section four, we now have got to the point where I'm just giving you the reactant side. I'm not giving you the product side. So you've got to try and figure out what's going to happen. Okay, you also need to identify what type of reaction it's going to be just by looking at the reactant side. So here I have an element and a compound. What type? Single displacement. It has to be a single displacement. Okay, now here's where, have you ever learned FOIL in math? First, outside, inside, last? When you're trying to undo a thing? I can't even think what they're called. Okay, well, in, in chemistry we get rid of the F and we get rid of the L. And we just say, oi, outsides and insides. Okay? This one doesn't have an outside and inside yet, but we look and see what the charge would be. Copper would be a positive or a negative charge from where it is on the chart. Some kind of positive. And usually it will take a plus two. It can take a plus one, but usually you take it plus two. When it's by itself, it has no charge, but I'm trying to see what it will do when it combines. Silver is a plus one, and sulfate as a group is a minus two. 
So this is basically two guys fighting over a girl. Okay? So the other guy's going to get the girl this time. Okay? So copper is going to come in, swoop in, and grab the girl, SO4, and poor silver gets kicked out by itself. Okay? Then I erase this extra stuff so it's not in my way, and I go through and balance. One copper, one copper, one sulfur, one sulfur, two silvers, one silver, so I put a two in front of that, four oxygens, four oxygens, done. Okay, let's look at the next one. The next one is what type? I've got a compound and a compound. Double displacement. So on this one, I'm going to have to look at each charge. So sodium's a plus one, iodine's a minus one, calcium's a plus two, Chlorine by itself is a minus one. I don't take that two over because it is balancing that one. Now, outsides are going to go together and insides are going to go together. Positive is always written first. So, Na is going to go with Cl, sodium chloride, plus calcium and iodine are going to go get it together. Calcium is a plus two, iodine is a minus one, so I need two of them. Now I go and erase my little helpers right here, and I look side to side. I have got one iodine on this side, but I've got two on this side, so I'm going to put two there. That gives me two sodium, so now I've got to put a two in front of this sodium. I've got two chlorines now on both sides, one calcium on both sides. I'm done. Okay, here I have an element and an element. What am I going to have to have? Synthesis. I'm going to have to put it together. So how does H and O go together? H2O. Yep. And I'm going to have to put a 2 in front of here and a 2 in front of here, and I'm done. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have a hydrogen, plus 1. Nitrate as a group is a minus 1. Manganese, I have no idea, but I do know OH as a group is a minus 1, and I have two of them. That means manganese has to be a plus 2, so I have to go backwards and find it that way. Remember, we're going to go outsides together and insides together. HOH always makes water. HOH always makes water. So anytime I split water, I split it HOH. I do not split it H and O. HOH makes water. Plus, MN and NO3 are going together. MN has a plus 2 charge, so I need 2 NO3s to go with it. I'm going to come over here and erase my little helps. What type of reaction is this? It looks like a double displacement, but it's a specialized double displacement because it made water. It's an acid base. It's an acid base because it had an acid and a base that made water. Now looking side to side, is it balanced? It is not. Okay, I can see my nitrogens are off. So if I put a 2 here to balance my nitrogens, my MNs are fine. My hydrogens, I have 4 on the left, but I only have 2 on the right, so I'm going to put a 2 in front of that. Now oxygens on the left, I have 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. On the right, I have 2 plus 3 times 2 is 6, which is 8. Okay? Do a couple more, and then my voice, I think, is about done. <laughs> All right? So this one right here, we have a couple and a couple, so it's going to be what type? Double displacement. Now, the only difference between the acid base and the double displacement is you'll notice this acid base had an H and an OH, which would make water. I could see that right up, up front, but I wanted to make sure you saw that we made water. So again, the first thing I want to do is identify the charges. Silver is a plus 1. Nitrite is a minus 1. Barium is a plus 2. Sulfate is a minus 2. So we're going to go outsides and then insides. So outsides, we've got Ag and SO4 going together. Ag is a plus 1, SO4 is a minus 2, so I need two silvers to go bounce it out. And then the insides, barium and nitrite. Barium is a plus 2, nitrite is a minus 1, so I need two nitrites to bounce that out. Now I erase all my extra help. Whoops, I've got the wrong thing on my finger. OK. 
Hey, race my extra help, and I also erase the double displacement. We'll just put it right there. Okay, and I look, so I decide what do I need to fix. I can see I've got two silvers on the right, and I only have one on the left, so I'm going to put a two. That fixes my nitrogens, two on the left and two on the right. Barium, one on the left, one on the right. Sulfur, one on the left, one on the right. Eight oxygens on the left and eight oxygens on the right, so we're balanced. Okay, next one down is going to be what type? Double displacement. It has an H, but it doesn't have an OH, so it is just a double displacement. So going across here, again, identifying charges, hydrogen plus one, cyanide minus one, sulfate is a minus two, that means copper is going to be a plus two. And outside's going together and inside's going together. Okay? So we get outside's H and SO4, H being a plus one, SO4 being a minus two, so I need two positives. Copper, going with cyanide, always write your positives first, so copper, cyanide, copper's a plus two, cyanide's a minus one, so I need two cyanides to balance it out. Erasing my little helps, going side to side, I can see I have two cyanides on the far side, and I only have one on the left, so I'm going to put a two there. Two um, hydrogens, two hydrogens, one copper, one copper. Um, two carbons, two carbons, two nitrogens, two nitrogens, one sulfur, one sulfur, four oxygens, four oxygens, we're done. Okay, this last one down here I want to make sure that I did with you because it's water. And remember up above I told you water will split HOH. Okay, this is a double displacement. So when I go to do this, this is a plus one and a minus one, plus one, minus one is going to go outsides and insides. So outside I'm going to have that acid that says is a friendly acid but then eats you alive, which is high. Um, and the inside's going to make AgOH. Since they were all plus one, minus one, I know that it's going to be balanced without doing anything to it. But you can double check. Okay, any questions? Does this sort of make sense a little bit more? Okay, if you need more help with it, I can help you work through some more of those problems. I want you to work on your sapling, get it as much done as you can, and um, I'll come around and help, okay?